Hi, it's Peter Patcher. I'm Tony. We're building a cruising sailboat. Say that every week. Let's have a look.
Time to repair a bit of poor planning. Yeah, that should be okay. This yes, okay, and I got, got the top step in, it was fixed nicely. Great, and then I fabricated this another bit of recycled mahogany for the removable second step. Obviously, it's got to be removable to give us access to the engine. It pops in there. Like that. There a couple of bolts will secure, although it's, it's pretty good, it fits really well. I'll probably put two, a bolt either side just to make sure it doesn't come out. And uh, I'm not going to work on that in my shoes, but here we go. Big steps, but working very nicely. And the larger steps will keep us fit, obviously. Pleased with that. Remember, this piece of trim will come along there. And that will give us that bit of extra width on that one. And yeah, happy with that. I've got oak strip that has arrived for the cabin sole and to clad this bottom step. And we'll probably get onto that soon. So that one will look very shiny and nice. It will be on there sanded up and varnished. And then these two will be varnished, of course, to finish. And a bit of non-slip on there. We've got an anti-slip tape or whatever. And then I did a little bit of wiring, got these two sockets in. Um, black is, is shore power and is hooked up and functioning. White will be inverter, which at the moment isn't working, but I have fitted the inverter. And I decided to put it in my, give me some light there. Just a minute, do that again. So there's the inverter in the electronics bay, battery charger as well in there. And I, I did say, didn't I, a couple of weeks ago about putting it in that bottom step and then I decided it wasn't such a clever idea because it's low down, isn't it? And the event of water getting in, it would flood that out. So I decided to go for the higher up mountain in the electronics bay there.
been training long enough. So I've now sanded this with, with 320, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1500, 1800, 2000, 2500 grits where it sanded. 3000 grits from my last one. I can safely say I'm tired. It's taken quite a few hours. But um, looks reasonable. Certainly as shiny as it's going to get for the time being. There it is, in all its glory. Um, if I just lift that out of the way for a moment. The holes that we drilled last week have been epoxy filled now to do the old drill film. No, I always get that wrong. Yeah, drill fill drill approach. And that's going to pop in there. It has been too cold to fit it. I want to, I'm going to fit it in, embed it, uh, bed it in, in, in epoxy. Um, in the method, I'm going to use the method described in the Gaussian Brothers book, the hardware bedding, but it's been too cold to do it, so I'll wait for a, a day when the temperatures, sort of temperature that epoxy might set off in. Uh, but it's getting there, it looks good, it's cleaned up, you know, it's not perfect, but it's come up quite shiny. And actually at the moment it's got a little bit of condensation on it from the cold. So it's even shinier than it looks now. Yeah, I'm quite pleased, it's good. Get it fitted soon. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Um, give us your thumbs up. Even better, hit the subscribe button, please. Help us get out to a wider audience. I'm sure it helps. Um, there's a new behind the scenes video up on the Patreon page, available to everybody. If, you like, if you're interested, you know, it gives a little bit more detail of what's going on in the build. I think it's number seven of the behind the scenes videos. They're, they're generally about eight minutes long or so. They, they vary a bit, but shortish videos. Over on the Patreon page. Get over there, have a look. See you next time. Bye.
So that was 320 grit. Now, 400. How clean is that lens? Not very at all, huh? Filthy, huh? 